Hello everybody and welcome to another Weekend Shave where today I will be shaving with this by Razor Rock. This is their German 37 Special Slant Razor. Take a good look here. At it. This is their Bulldog handle so you can get some different handles when you do order this. So there's some couple options to choose from. It's got a really good, good grip. Nice knurling on the handle, so real easy to grip. It is a three-piece razor, and to help me complete this shave, I am going to be using the Permasharp blade made by Gillette. Now, when you do get Permasharp blades, you'll find them in two varieties. You'll find them in the gold packaging like this, and the green packaging like this, which is the seven o'clock brand. I'm actually gonna be using the uh, first choice here in the red and gold packaging so make sure i've got this on camera right so this is the ones i'm going to be using really nice blade stainless steel and uh the razor rock is a three-piece razor so there's the cap some scaling on the cap here is the base plate here you see it's got that funky curve in it to help give it a very efficient shave here get this wax paper off there i'm also going to be using some parasso this is their single edge or single blade line and it comes in a cream i wish it came in a soap because i do like this stuff there it is here this is their cypress formula. I'll be using the pre-shave and matching aftershave. So let's go ahead and load up this blade and get everything started and uh, real easy to load. Double check that and make sure that the blade looks as even as possible. There is a little bit of hangover on the blade cap, so be careful when you're shaving underneath your nose. You don't want to scratch yourself with these edges here. Set that down. And uh, I will be using a Simpsons T1 synthetic brush. I believe you've seen me use this before. Very nice synthetic brush. And uh, let's get some pre-shave on my face and mix up some soap here. Well, welcome back to another episode. It's been a while. I did take the entire month of November off. Um, I did let my beard grow out. I didn't let it grow out all the way. Basically, I, I ran like a three-day uh, growth on my beard the whole time because... I really don't like the way a full beard looks on me. And I didn't color my beard at all. I let it go completely gray. Which again, I don't like, but I, since then I've shaved it off and put some color back in my beard, but I need to do that again. And the Christmas is coming up and all the other holidays in December. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. Hopefully I get a, another shave video out between now and New Year's, but we'll see how things progress. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving. And those of you who don't, I hope you had a wonderful November anyways. All right. Real mild scent, a little woody, which is fine. I do like the wood smells. Doesn't take a whole lot of soap, so let's just put a little bit in there, in the bottom of the bowl, like that. Where did I 
to take my brush. Ah, oh, there it is. Problems of being blind. You get very misplaced stuff, and it's right in front of you, and you, you can't find it anyways. Alright, so let's mix this up. And you can see it mixes up real quick, real easy. Put a little bit of water in there. Well, I like Paraso. I know some people think that it's a cheap soap, but you know, that's fine. It's, but it does mix up real well. And it does create a lot of stuff. And you can see that wasn't a whole lot of soap I put in the bottom and it's already making a nice lather. Put a little more water on my face. Hope you guys are ready for the holidays for those of you who celebrate Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, please just let me know what holiday you do celebrate because I do like to learn more about the different holidays that happen during this time of year. Remember, just because you fall out of there, that doesn't mean you don't work it into your beard. Again, it's a real common mistake that you don't work the lather into your stubble or beard when you get ready to shave here when you fall lather. I do think, let me look at this here. I do think it's a little bit more slant, aggressive slant than my other razors. Oh, let's see here. Maybe just a little bit. It looks like a little bit more aggressive than the marker. And let's look at the Parker here that I have real fast. Get this in camera better. There's the Parker. There's that. I do think there's a little bit more of a slant there. A little bit more of a gap to the blade. So it should be a little bit more efficient. There we go. The marker. You can see that there is a, a little bit more slant. Definitely more scallop, deeper scalloping on the uh, blade here from the cap and the comb. So let's go ahead and but just like all safety razors you're going to put it at that 30 degree angle with very little pressure and let the razor do its job. And you could do short strokes like that if you're not sure about it. Very nice. Remember to shave 
with the green as much as possible. So if your hair switches directions like mine does, try to shave in that direction as well. Put a little on here on my fingers because I had soap on there and it's a little slick. It's better. Let's see the other side here. It's very smooth. Very efficient too. Like that. Very nice. Took off all, almost all the hair, but so what I did have on my face with that first pass, so that's very, very nice. Let's go ahead and do pass number two. Well, to me, it feels mild. Now, the reason why I say to me is because I primarily use a straight razor off camera. I just that's just my preferred method. But I do like using the safety razors. I mean, it's very comfortable, and when you get a good razor, you know, like this razor rock here, it can be very comfortable and very efficient. Do that. Now let's go down on my neck. And up on my face. This is my preferred method of shaving. And the permashrep is doing its job. Flip it over to the other side. Well, I like it. Very nice. Plenty of stubble on here. Pass number two. Very smooth. So let's do pass number three because I do like to get a baby bottom smooth shape. So we'll go ahead and do one last pass. I want to go this way against the thing, uh, against my face. To me, this is really going against the grain when I go from ear to nose. It's just, it's just the way my hair grows in a downward angle. On my cheeks. And I'll also get the underneath my lip as well. 
smell that silk. Always hold it up at angles so when you're looking at it like this, go like that. very smooth. Let's go ahead and do the center part of my whip here. Now the aftershave is a bomb, so a lotion for those of you in the United States. It's very creamy. You got a nice mild woodsy smell. So if you were gonna use an EDT or an EDP, let's say before you were to go out on a town, this probably wouldn't really clash with any of the scents because it's very mild and which is fine. Very good shave here. So no nicks, no cuts. Very smooth, very nice. So there you have it, the Razor Rock German 37 Special. And it is a really good slant razor, I do like that. Very nice. I'll put a link and description to some of the items I use in the description and as always, Thank you for joining in. Please like and subscribe. I will try to get more videos out as soon as I am available. I will talk to you everyone later. And if I don't see you guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Bye for now.